Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reading your assumptions about me. You know, I'm kind of nervous for this video. I'm a little scared. Will this be good for my mental health? Bitch, it might not be. But we're gonna find out together like we usually do. So I asked you guys on my Instagram stories to leave me an assumption about me. If you know me, tell me what you thought about me before you got to know me. If you don't know me, tell me how you think I really am on and off camera. Tell me what you think I was like in the past. Tell me what you think I want to be in the future. Tell me how you think I am as a person. What kind of vibe do I give you? Now I hope that I give you a really good vibe. I kind of just try to be like that. That little ray of sunshine in your life every time you open that TV, every time you open that little phone, that iPad, that laptop. You know, I just, I try to be there for you. I try to be friendly. And I hope that you're receiving the vibe I'm giving. But let's find out. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. So I have screenshots of all the people that replied to my poll on Instagram. Um, if you replied, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Homie shit. You worry about your views. Yeah, of course I worry about my views. But not in the sense that it's like unhealthy. I never lose sleep over how many views I get as it is. I don't really get that many. But I worry about my views because every video I put out is like a child of mine. I want it to like grow and like reach its fullest potential. I do always try to make videos that I think will do well views wise that I think will bring in views. So to answer your question, yes, I worry about views, but I don't like obsess over it. You want to move to LA? Um, no. I don't want to move to LA. I think it'd be cool and everything, but I just like, I get so anxious and like nervous in places that are so like overpopulated and LA is like overpopulated. I love visiting, but I don't think I could live there. I just, I like very small cities, small areas. Like I don't think I could ever live in New York, dude. I want to go there so bad, like to visit and stay on a vacation, but I don't think that that lifestyle could ever be for me. But who knows? I mean, I could move there in five years and end up loving it. You're happy. Yeah, I actually am happy. I'm at a good level of happiness right now. I don't know if it's just because it's like my season, like it's Capricorn season and I'm like thriving, but I am in a really good place right now, happiness wise. You're really outgoing. It depends. If I'm ever like in a social situation, I try to be the one that talks to people first. I'm not very good at it, but if, if we have a good connection, a good conversation going, um, I'll be pretty open and outgoing. But I am a little different on and off camera in that sense because I have like more freedom to be like who I am and whatever on camera and off camera, I'm kind of just like, you know, just like to myself. Um, kind of reserved in a way, but can also be outgoing at times. Hmm, you're a queen, lol. That's not an assumption. That's not a question. That's a fact. You don't have many friends, <laughs> parentheses, not in a mean way. Um, I love that you said that. Thank you for saying that because I am an overthinker. And if you didn't put that, I probably would have been like, oh my God, she thinks I don't have friends. Like, you know, I would have had a spiraling moment. So thanks for putting that. But um, yeah, you're right. I don't have that many friends. I like to keep my circle very small. I do know a lot of people, but I wouldn't really consider them friends, if that makes sense. What I consider to be a friend is like someone, like if I need something, if I wanna talk to someone, if I wanna hang out, I can be able to reach out to them and they'll reach back to me. I probably have like five people like that in my life and I'm happy with that. I actually really like that because I don't really trust too many people. So this next one kind of ties in with the last one and it is, I assume that you are a good friend. I really think that I am. I'm not just trying to like toot my own horn. I really think that I am a good friend. I'm always there if anybody ever really needs me. I am a person who is just a good time, dude. Like I'm a good time. 
I'm good company is what I am. I feel like every friendship that I have has had a moment where I'm just like very, very connected to that person and we share like that bond. So yeah, I would say that I'm a good friend. And if you're my friend, I hope you think that I'm a good friend. So verify that statement down below, please. You like Del Taco more than Taco Bell. Uh, I like them the same. I think I go to Del Taco more often, but Taco Bell, Taco Bell's good. Taco Bell's good. So I, I would say like even. You party a lot. I don't. I don't. I don't. I wish that I did, but I don't. There's not much to do in my city. Not many people to do it with and a lot of my friends are barely turning 21. So hopefully we can like party, get some content going for, for us. I don't, yeah. I think you're shy off camera and in real life. Yeah, pretty much. But like I said, in some cases it varies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know sometimes, you know? I just, I am a, I just a tricky card to read. I hope to work past this, to work through this, and I hope that you can accept me for who I am. You're very optimistic. Yeah, I am very optimistic. I like to see the good and everything. I like to always try to be positive. I know sometimes that can be really hard, but I do always try to be happy and positive and think of the best outcome for every situation. I think I've always been that way. You get what you want, you dream something, and you make it happen. I have the perfect answer for you, and let me just let me just put it this way, okay? <laughs> Sorry, had to go off on you a little bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if I if I do have like a dream or if I really, really want something really bad, I think that I do try to chase it and I do try to make it happen. That kind of ties in with the whole being optimistic thing. You seem like a sweet, down-to-earth, funny person. Thank you so much. You're super humble and sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much that I, I love you. You know who you are and I love you so much. Um, thank you. You have smoked weed before. You don't plan on living in the valley for the rest of your life. I've always wanted to live somewhere with nicer weather because our weather kind of sucks where I live. I'm not sure where, not sure where that, that'll be exactly, but I don't know where life will take me. So we'll, we'll see, we will see. I feel like you can easily connect with people fast. Yeah, I think I can. I always try to find common interests in people, like whenever I'm meeting someone new or I'm just talking to a mutual friend. I feel like I'm a very easygoing person, although I don't always know what to say or the right thing to say. But once we get past that like kind of awkward stage, I feel like I am a very easy person to connect with. So that was all the assumptions that you guys made about me. I thought I was going to get a negative one, like you're fake, you do this, you do that. You guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. This was actually really fun. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for new videos every single week, and make sure to turn on my notifications to be notified every single time I upload because YouTube does not let you know when I post so rude so please click that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload hopefully fingers crossed sometimes you still be missing notifications okay i know i know how it be sometimes as always i love you guys very much and i will see you on the next one bye